need had been technology, God would have sent us a scientist. If our greatest need had been money, God would have sent us an economist. But our greatest need was forgiveness, so God sent us a Savior. A Mother's Love by Wanda's Country Home There were many times when I was young, I saw tears in my mama's eyes. And I didn't know what thing it was that made my mama cry. But as the years went by and I understood each tear, mama cried for her children while she was living here. And she prayed, Lord, please save my children. I'm asking you today, Lord, please save my children. Don't let them stray away. Just keep your hands upon them. Don't let them die in vain. But Lord, please save my children. Oh, this I pray today. And now the years have come and gone since my mama passed away, but back in my memory I can hear her every day. Oh, how I hear those prayers that she prayed to God for her children every day. She was hoping that she just hear me say, Mama, I got saved. And she prayed, Lord, please save my children. I'm asking you today. Lord, please save my children. Don't let them stray away. Just keep your hands upon them. Don't let them die in vain. But Lord, please save my children. Oh, this I pray today. But Lord, please save my children. Oh, this I pray today. By Wanda's Country Home. It's in the valleys we grow by Dr. P. L. Williams. Sometimes life seems hard to bear, full of sorrow, trouble, and woe. It's then I have to remember that it's in the valleys we grow. If I always stayed on the mountaintop and never experienced pain, I would never appreciate God's love and would be living in vain. I have so much to learn and my growth is very slow. Sometimes I need the mountaintops, but in the valleys we grow. I do not always understand why things happen as they do, but I'm very sure of one thing, my Lord will see me through. My little valleys are nothing when I picture Jesus Christ on the cross. He went through the valley of death. His victory was Satan's loss. Forgive me, Lord, for complaining when I'm feeling so very low. Just give me a gentle reminder that it's in the valleys we grow. Continue to strengthen me, Lord, and use my life each day to share your love with others and help them find their way. Thank you for valleys, Lord, for this one thing I know. The mountaintops are glorious, but it's in the valleys we grow. Have a blessed day. Remember the shortest distance between a problem and the solution is the distance between your knees and the floor. The one who kneels to the Lord can stand up to anything. If your problem is bigger than your God, then you're serving the wrong God. Remember the knees that bend don't shake. By Dr. P. L. Williams. If tomorrow never comes, by Norma M. A. R. E. K. If I knew it would be the last time that I'd see you fall asleep. I would tuck you in more tightly and pray the Lord your soul to keep. If I knew it would be the last time that I see you walk out the door, I would give you a hug and a kiss and call you back for one more. If I knew it would be the last time I'd hear your voice lifted up in praise, I would videotape each action and word so I could play them back day after day. If I knew it would be the last time, I would spare an extra minute or two to stop and say I love you instead of assuming you would know I do. If I knew it would be the last time, I would be there to share your day. Well, I'm sure you'll have so many more, so I can tell. let just this one slip away. For surely there's always tomorrow to make up for an oversight, and we always get a second chance to make everything right. There will always be another day to say I love you, and certain there's another 
chance to say, are any, is there anything I can do? But just in case I might be wrong and today is all I get, I'd like to say how much I love you and I hope we never forget. Tomorrow's not promised to anyone, young or old alike, and today may be the last chance you get to hold your loved ones tight. So if you're waiting for tomorrow, why not do it today? For if tomorrow never comes, you'll surely regret the day that you didn't take that extra time for a smile, a hug, a kiss, and you were too busy to grant someone what turned out to be their last wish. So hold your loved ones close today, whisper in their ear, tell them how much you love them and that you'll always hold them dear. Take time to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me and thank you, or it's okay. And if tomorrow never comes, you'll have no regrets about today. By Norma M-A-R-E-K. I Love You by Katherine Slater. I love you because you understand me better than anyone I've ever known. You can make me happy and soothe away my cares with just a touch or a word. I love you because we have so much fun together wherever we go and whatever we do. I love the way you can make me laugh when I need it the most. I love you because of the dreams we built together, the ones we're still working on, and the ones we dream up years from now. I love you because I'm a better person with you by my side. You give my life a deeper meaning and purpose. I love you because you're my world, my everything, and that will never change by Katherine Slater. Follow Me by Grace E. Easley. Take up your cross and follow me wherever I may lead. Your back will ache, your feet grow tired, and yes, your heart will bleed. But we shall walk together, and I will share your lot. For I am always with you, and will never forget you. Take up your cross and follow me, and I will fill your days with joy that only I can give in many precious ways. So learn to know me better, for there are miles to go. And rest your head upon my heart, for I have loved you so. The light grows dim, the dust descends, the sunlight turns to shade. I give my angels charge of you, so do not be afraid. But trust in me and do not grieve for what has come and gone. I will provide for all your needs, because you are my own. My yoke is sweet, my burden light, no matter where you roam. Remember, earth will pass away, but heaven is your home. How very brief a time man walks upon this earthly sod. So love me as I first loved you and know that I am God. Jesus Understands by Beverly J. Anderson. My Savior knows my every need. He notes the tears that fall. He knows when sorrow overwhelms and heeds my anguish crawl. He cares when I'm faint of heart and hope is almost gone. He understands my loneliness as gray clouds hide the dawn. Till then, his nearness comforts me in such a blessed way, assuring me I'll share my grief, he'll share my grief, and never from me stray. Within the shelter of his arms, there's refuge for my fears. As Jesus soothes my broken heart and wipes away my tears, his presence brings sweet peace to me, his love becomes the light that penetrates my troubled soul and lifts the veil of night. By Beverly J. Anderson. Live Life to the Fullest by Shirley A. Powell. One never knows what tomorrow will bring, so live life to the fullest today. Enjoy the treasures that God has given. Never give in to dismay. Don't let the dark clouds get you down. Be happy and carefree in mind. Each cloud has a silver lining that each of you must find. Always look for the good in others and life will be happier for you. Goodness and love will always make dark skies seem brighter and blue. Love each other as God has loved you, and peace will be yours to share. Know that whatever tomorrow brings will find you safe in God's care. By Shirley H. Powell. Love by Emmett Fox. There is no difficulty that enough love will not conquer. No disease that enough love will not heal. No door that enough love will not open. 
No gulf that enough love will not bridge. No wall that enough love will not throw down. No sin that enough love will not redeem. It makes no difference how deeply seated the trouble, how hopeless the outlook, how muddled the tangle, how great the mistake. A sufficient realization of love will dissolve it all. If you only could love enough, you would be the happiest and most powerful being in the world. Now abideth faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. A Christian Life by Arthur Davis To live a Christian life today may seem a little tough. You may sometimes even feel like quitting and saying, I've had enough. But when you think of all the blessings you've received from God above, you stop and say a silent prayer, and He fills you with all His love. Some friends, even loved ones, have made you fun of you. And if you're living a Christian life, and to Jesus you are true, it may seem friends have forsaken you and you feel a little sad. But Jesus Christ is the dearest friend a Christian ever had. Yes, a Christian life may seem hard if we heed God's every command and stay on that straight and narrow road that leads to the promised land. We may even falter while down life's road we try, but the happiest life to live on earth is to be a child of the living God. By Arthur Davis. much for letting me share these inspirations with you. May you have a wonderful week. God bless you. God loves you, and I do too. You have an awesome week, and remember that God loves you. Have a great week. God bless you. Thank you.